We rescued Champ after Hurricane Florence, and when we found him, he was in really bad shape. He's in the woods, just kind of like a marshy, muddy area. As far as we know, he'd been on the loose for at least, what? Two weeks. Yeah, he'd been out in the woods by himself with a broken leg. Hurricane Florence hit North Carolina early September, and it was complete devastation. It was really bad, especially for those farm animals. We were able to rescue five pigs, Flo and Jax, Diesel and Percy, and the last one was Chan. We believe that all five of our hurricane pigs came from the same location. Essentially a warehouse, really never really got to be outside, never walked in grass, none of the typical pig things. First, I didn't know how bad his leg was. He did not want to get up. We decided to take Champ to University of Tennessee within a day of him being on this farm. It's okay. He's really gonna get you well. We brought Champ to Dr. Milan in September. Um, the initial diagnosis was, he used the word fair. Champ had already proven his will to live just by getting to UT. And as soon as he walked through the door, <laughs> they all went nuts over him. Yeah. He couldn't even walk. He's just sitting <laughs> on like the dolly cart, like smiling ear to ear like he's the king on a parade. He had his ankle bone fractured. When we took an x-rays, it was a compounded fracture. Those are really, really challenging. I was worried that Champ would not be able to make it at all based on the gravity of the fracture. What are you doing? You OK, little boy? You got a little gas, don't you? Afterwards, I order him a ton of sleeping bags. So Jay goes and puts a sleeping bag in there. And you would have thought that it was the greatest thing that you could have ever given him. Yeah, big boy. And we're gonna give you the best life ever. Champ's total stay at the University of Tennessee ended up being like four months. And to see how many people he touches, like it's it, it's almost instantly. It wasn't the fact that they had to go in there and hang out with him while all they had to do is just walk by his cage and look at him. <laughs> and then you just see him and people were just drawn to him. He's the first patient I see in the morning and the last one I see before I go home. Pigs love belly rubs, and Champ is no exception. And he insists on being the little spoon when you're spooning with him. See what I mean about the little spoon? I've been making them salads with sweet potato, cucumber, blueberries, fresh lemon that I, I chop up for them, um, anything that helps detox the system. It takes them a while to eat it. So we have 60 animals here to take care of, so we, you know, we can't spend months out of town. It was such a beautiful thing that people were all there to rally around this pig, you know? It's just really cool. You had a lot of cheerleaders. Yeah, you did. We're gonna get our boy. It's time to get champ. You Who's ready? ready? Who's you ready, ready? Oh. You ready, sweetie? Nice to see you. Yeah. Happy New Year. Yeah. like two months. How are you? Good. Champ is doing great. Yeah. So, you want to see the last x rays that we've done? Yes. Perfect. Come on in. This is the x ray of Champ the first day he arrived. Now, what we did, we put some pins into it and kind of a wire as well. It is a bit rougher than I would like it to be. But in the meantime, he was able to bear weight on that leg, which is all that matters to me. It's a functional leg. Last time I saw Champ, he could barely walk. Thank you, Dr. Milan. We first saw Champ, he was definitely excited to see us. Uh, we can't really tell because it was us or just because he loves every single person that walks into his stall. They opened up the door where the trailer was waiting um, 
and he just ran up. <laughs> it was like I, it was like he knew exactly what was going on. It couldn't have gone any better. Thank you so much. You have a safe drive back. Do you want your mama to ride back here with you? Whenever we get an animal to the farm, you have this idea of how it's gonna be. They get out, they run out of the trailer, and they're just happy as, you know, the happiest they've ever been in their no. lives. Whoa! Where are you, buddy? What do you think, Champ, man? Come here, Champ. This was the first time Champ had ever been able to set foot on solid ground and be able to just be a pig. <laughs> Gotta have a welcome home cake, right? Champ Ruski! What is that, Champ? What is it? Oh. <laughs> I'm so proud of you for eating that cake like a big pig. <laughs> I was worried he wouldn't like that cake. This is your house! Every inch of it was designed for you, baby. Uh, we are in front of Champ's future custom house. There's some foam stacked up inside it. That's gonna be what is, it's called soft stall. So he's actually gonna have a padded floor, heated, insulated. Ah, uh, TV. We're about two, three weeks away, uh, we estimate, from being able to have this ready for Champ. He's got the Taj Mahal here. The other pigs that we rescued from the hurricane have been here for a while. Well, we're looking forward for Champ to get to see them. Our ultimate goal is to have all the hurricane pigs and another commercial pig that we have named Benny living in Champ's deluxe house. Anytime you introduce pigs, they will fight. It's kind of the dominant herd mentality. Our biggest concern with Champ is for him to hurt his leg when they meet. We'll experiment with it in the next few weeks just to make sure Champ's 100% healed and we have the most confidence that he's not going to re-injure anything before we try it. Dr. Milan said um, Champ's about 90% recovered. We just have to change his bandage every couple of days. He'll be on antibiotics for a little bit longer. And then after that, it's just kind of monitoring how he's walking and everything else, make sure that there's no pain, any signs of lameness. Our next step is to meet with our very good friend, Derek from Bionic Pets and to get Champ's customized leg brace ready. Anything that gives him a little extra support, I think will just give him just a better chance at keeping that leg healthy for a longer time. When I first saw Champ walking, he was limping a little bit. This will just give him a little added support so he can have a little bit more confidence, walk freely, give Kristen and Jay peace of mind that he won't refracture it. So we're doing something I've never done before, which is building in someone's kitchen. We can kind of MacGyver this and get it done uh, today and, and fit on Champ. On the fly, you got to improvise. And the boot looked perfect. Hot gloves. Uh huh. Going to run outside. The brace turned out great. I mean, it fits good. Champ takes to it. Awesome. Today feels uh, amazing, a uh, day I'll never forget. Really, with the build we did in the house and fitting uh, a pig like Champ with a brace and the way he reacted, just the combination of all that stuff was um, close to a miracle, one of the most memorable patients I've ever seen. Champ's been back with us for about a month and a half, two months, and he's settling in great. He's really doing awesome. He's healing up good. He's bandage free. The hole closed up, and there's no more need for bandages. He's loving life. I know that. He has lots of fun. We first introduced Champ to sleeping bags at the University of Tennessee, and to this day, he still loves sleeping on and being covered up with sleeping bags more than any other blanket. And it's funny, because most pigs, you know, they love blankets. All pigs love making a nest and stuff, but in the process, they tear them up. And Champ will not tear up his sleeping bags. He loves to eat. Champ's favorite treat 
is animal crackers. I think he could eat them all day and all night. I really do. You want to feed your animals the absolute perfect diet, the best thing and everything else, but you got to have some, you know, indulgences here and there. One. Champ's house took a little while to get going. It was custom built, and then getting it built was delayed by the weather. Getting it here was delayed by the weather. Uh, what is this? Uh, Champ! Oh, oh, a lot of the features in Champ's house are necessity for him. You know, the soft stall is, is uh, we think something's going to really, really help him just take, you know, any kind of wear and tear out of, out of his leg. I think Champ loves the new house. I, I think he was really excited to see it. And um, I think he's gonna love it. Not, why wouldn't he? It's, it's, I mean, it's everything he could want, I'm sure. I kinda wanna move in there with him. <laughs> Long term, we definitely want to get him friends in there so they can enjoy the, the, the high life as well. By the time he left UT, I mean, his personality was flourishing. The difference that we've seen is just his comfort level with just being able to roam the farm and run around and, you know, starting to kind of learn how to do pig stuff and then find ways to uh, entertain himself without people. He's still growing in that respect. So today's the big day on, where we think uh, Champ's ready to meet all the pigs at once, be out there in their pasture all together. I'm so excited. They did what we expected, you know, I mean, the, the, the other pigs, they chased them around, showed them that he, they're the boss, and Champ was really accepting that he would run away, which is what we are hoping. I'm really excited. This is going absolutely perfect. After seeing all the pigs together here today for the first time, I feel really confident that it's going to work out and they'll be able to stay together long term. <laughs> it's been about a six month process to get Champ to this point, and um, it's absolutely worth it. Champ has dominated his comeback. He's done it, and he's, he's back 100%. He is doing so much better than, honestly, what I thought he would be doing at this point. But he deserves it. He deserves all of it. Uh, we've spent a ton of money. We've spent a ton of time. Uh, we've, had, we've spent plenty of tears. This is just what we do, and this is how we do it. Now it's just wide open. He can just do pig stuff with his pig friends and, and just have a great, hopefully, really long life. <laughs>